Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this tutorial, we are going to put procedural holes into arbitrary meshes. Uh, we are going to start off with a new file. And I've chosen the Tommy mesh because it has um, a very regular structure and quads only. So this is a good scenario for putting holes in. I will scatter some points, not a total count, but rather a density by 50. And we will relax these points 100 times. Now I would like to refer back to the mesh. So I put this as my second input in a point warp, and I will provide the position and ask for the nearest point of the second input, which is the Tommy mesh. So let's bind export the integer and call it pt near. So now every point has a favorite point that is the closest uh, on the mesh. So we can call the VOP nearest point. Now let's uh, go vice versa and ask the mesh whether there is a match among the scattered points. So I will call this match and inside we will this time use a find attrib value node and this will refer to the second input and we are looking among the points for an attribute called pt near and we want to know whether it's identical to our point number so we, we will provide this as a search value let's bind export this integer and call it match now there will be lots of misses because the majority of points on our mesh will not have a corresponding point among the scattered points but there are matches and these can be identified easily by going to a group expression. We can set a point group called whole and the condition would be that integer at match is bigger or equal than zero. So these points should be turned into primitives so we will use the group promote node set it to hole and that way we get these nice four polygons for each hole there's a node that's called circle from edges which is also accepting primitives and we will set it to the whole group and there you have these perfectly round edge selections under the hood the group is still existing so we can use the poly extrude and refer back to our whole group and just choose inset so we get these safety rings which uh, will not really correspond to the inset but they will be limited by the smallest hole in our case the limit insetting is that gap and we do not need the output so that way we get the points I will append a subdivide node to get even smoother round holes and now it's time to experiment with the density or with a different seed and it will always put in procedural holes all right thank you for watching